In this video, we will check out the Multiship Superior 2400 Alu, a 23.7 meter aluminium boat that was built in 1993 but had a complete rebuild that ended in 2018. She was made by a Netherlands based Multiship and has a displacement of 40 tons. She's powered by twin MTU 600 horsepower engines and has a draft of 1.4 meters. Her air draft is 4.95 meters. So sit back and relax as I take you on a tour of this unique boat. The large swim platform is one of the first things that sticks out to me about this boat. Not only is it big enough to hold the vessel's tender, but it also has room for two staircases. There is also enough room for the parasail with its 180 degree reach. The boat is actually currently listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers. And as always, I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. Making our way along the port side of the multi-ship Superior, what grabs my attention are the large windows gracing the vessel's roomy saloon. These large windows are manufactured with double glazing Rigo material and give a fantastic panoramic view of the boat's surroundings. When we get to the vessel's bow, we glimpse the seating arrangements on the boat's exterior. You can imagine sitting here with a glass of your favourite tipple as you cruise along the coast. But now let's head on board. Entering through the port gates, we come across the spacious aft deck, perfect for our fresco dining. Two large doors connect this open area to the saloon. I love the large tables with their distinctive thick pedestals. The aft bollards are conveniently placed forward of the seating area contributing to the vessel's efficient design. What do you think of this space? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see if we can get to 50K subs. Let's head inside and check out the open plan, single level living space. On the port side forward of the stairs, which lead down to the aft accommodation areas, is the open plan galley. Opposite the galley is a dining area. From this angle you get some perspective of just how large the windows in the saloon are and you also get some idea as to the sort of views you can take in as you enjoy your meal whilst being protected from the elements. The well-appointed galley is equipped with a modern L-shaped layout and a separate equipment island. It boasts a Miele combo microwave oven, dishwasher and a Lieber fridge. Next to the massive windows in the saloon are two large sofas which could also be used as additional berths should you have some friends on board who decide to stay for the night whilst you are tied up alongside. Do you prefer these open plan living arrangements on boats? Let me know in the comments below. In between the two sofas is a custom made table. I think this is an excellent area for just relaxing and chatting with your guests. This huge TV gets its signal from a DVB-T receiver installed in one of the two dummy sat domes atop the coach roof. In front of the TV island is the helm position that on this boat forms part of the undisrupted flow of this living area. The helm is set up with a hydraulic steering system. The yacht's navigation equipment includes a Raymarine ST60 depth sounder and log, a Raymarine Smart Pilot with a wireless remote for autopilot and an L3 Communications AIS transponder. Two Raymarine E120 units offer an integrated radar, GPS and plotter system for chart plotting and tracking. Communication is provided with a Ray 240E VHF radio. Remember if you need to upgrade your comms or nav equipment on your boat, Feel free to check out my Amazon stores, you'll find the link in the video description. Now let's head down this staircase located to the port side of the helm position and check out the two forward cabins. The VIP cabin and guest cabin share this bathroom that has an electric toilet system. Although this is a shared facility, it is a big area and feels more like the sort of bathroom you would find in a family suite in a five star hotel. I really like the finish and attention to detail in here. There is a large enclosed shower that has a removable and rainhead shower fitting. The boat actually has enough capacity for 4,000 litres of fresh water, so plenty to go around. 
As someone who classes himself as a bit of a shower connoisseur, I love the fact that more and more boats now are being fitted with these rainhead showers. As we come out of the shared facilities, we turn right and then left and then enter the forward VIP cabin. The French bed in this cabin is 1.6 by 2 meters and offers plenty of additional storage space underneath the bed. This cabin, like the rest of the boat, benefits from the reverse cycle air conditioning system by Marix. Being what many people would refer to as a digital nomad, I love the desk area here as I could catch up with some work related stuff whilst motoring towards the next destination. Above the desk is a huge TV so you can also sit back and watch your favourite yacht tuber. The cabin also benefits from portholes which are probably a little bit smaller than you would expect to find on a boat of this size but still lit in plenty of natural light. I like the cherry wood finish in this VIP cabin and the excellent use of space, especially the amount of storage space on offer. Heading out of the VIP cabin, we make a left turn and find ourselves in the second guest cabin, located to starboard. In here we find a decent sized double bed that measures 1.4 by 2 meters. Again, there is also plenty of storage space in here meaning that heading off on long adventures won't be a problem when it comes to finding somewhere to keep all of your clothes. Thanks to the portholes, this cabin still benefits from natural light and as with all of the accommodation areas throughout this boat, the warm and subtle lighting creates a relaxing atmosphere. Let's head aft and check out the master cabin. After coming out of the guest cabin, we head back over to the port side and ascend the stairwell that leads us up to the helm position. The stairs leading down to the master cabin can be found on the port aft section of the saloon. As we make our way to the private oasis that is the master cabin, we are immediately taken by its intimate yet spacious design. The room is graced with a large French bed, its dimensions stretching to 1.8 by 2 meters, promising a restful night's sleep after a day at sea. Ample storage is provided through a well-crafted wardrobe, offering a mix of hanging spaces, drawers and shelves, a testament to the practicality and thoughtfulness of the design. The ensuite has an electric toilet system, a wash basin and a dedicated large shower. The master cabin, like the rest of the yacht, benefits from the efficient Marix air conditioning system. This is an incredibly roomy, bright and airy ensuite. But what do you think of this ensuite in the master cabin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As this boat is designed to be an owner operator vessel, the melee washer dryer are also in the ensuite bathroom. Now that we have finished checking out the boat's interior areas, let's look around the upper deck before checking out the engine room and talking a bit more about the vessel's technical specifications. As we emerge onto the spacious foredeck, the first thing that I notice is the shape of the flared bow. We also get a glimpse of the sun lounging area and the deck gear. At this stage of the yacht tour, I must highlight the vertical windows of the pilot's house. As we've seen at the helm, these windows are more than just appealing to the eye. They offer excellent visibility, a crucial aspect of navigation. Let's head back towards the stern via the starboard side deck. Another great feature when it comes to the helm on this boat is that the operator of the vessel can get quick access to both the port and starboard side of the boat when carrying out tight manoeuvres. Again, this reflects that this boat was designed to be operated by its owner. The straightforward and functional layout of the main deck areas lends itself to ensuring that a cruising couple with the right level of experience should have no problem operating this boat on their own. Let me know what you think in the comments below and remember any comments, questions or queries which are left with a super thanks are always guaranteed a response. Let's take a look inside the engine room. Deep within the heart of this robust vessel we encounter the heart of the machine, twin MTU marine diesel engines. Each powerhouse produces a hefty 600 horsepower or 441 kilowatts. Paired with a freshwater heat exchanger for cooling, these engines ensure a comfortable cruising speed of 8.5 knots and a top speed that can reach an impressive 15 knots. 
This boat has a secondary Vetus DT429A engine, providing a potent 83 horsepower solely to support the hydraulic systems. The primary and secondary engines are connected via an electric control system and a hydraulic gearbox. The thrust is delivered through a sturdy water lubricated stainless steel propeller shaft to a fixed four bladed propeller. When it comes to her stabilization, the multi-ship Superior 2400 Alu is well equipped with Humphreys interceptors. This boat also has a substantial fuel capacity of 4,000 litres in stainless steel tanks. Given an average consumption of 22 litres per hour at cruising speed, I have made a very rough calculation, so don't quote me on this, giving the boat a range of around 2,500 nautical miles depending on load, sea state and other conditions when motoring at eight knots. And let's not forget about the reliable Onan generator, boasting a power output of 11 kilowatts. When making and uploading this video in June 2023, this boat is currently listed for sale with the Vault Yacht Brokers for 995,000 euros, which is around $1.07 million or about 850,000 pounds. If you want to learn more about this boat, I will leave a link to DeVolk's website at the bottom of the video description. And remember, if you have access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, you can contact me via my socials or email. I'll leave the relevant links in the video description. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to join them by becoming a member, then click on the link pinned in the comments. In front of you now, you'll see some of my video recommendations, which I think you'll love. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel, which I've just started called Boat Boy. You'll find the button for that in front of you now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and please give the video a like. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.